Have you ever wondered about the line between appreciation and appropriation? R.F. Kuang's satirical thriller, Yellow Face of Fiction, contemporary adult thriller from 2023, dives headfirst into this complex question, taking readers on a whirlwind journey through the cutthroat world of publishing. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Yellowface grapples with themes of racial identity, cultural appropriation, and the often murky ethics of the literary world. Follows the story of June Hayward, a struggling white novelist, and her meteoric rise to fame after she steals the manuscript of her recently deceased Asian-American writer friend, Athena Liu. Passing Athena's culturally significant novel as her own, June adopts the persona of Juniper Song, a supposed Chinese-American author, and experiences the success that eluded her before. The story primarily unfolds in the contemporary literary scene of New York City, a setting teeming with ambition, rivalry, and cutthroat competition. Huang paints a vivid picture of this world, capturing its glamorous book launches, intense writing workshops, and the ever-present pressure to produce the next bestseller. The novel's contemporary setting allows readers to connect with the story's exploration of modern-day issues like social media storms, cancel culture, and the complexities of representation in the digital age. At the heart of our two contrasting characters, June Hayward and Athena Liu. June, a struggling writer, is plagued by self-doubt and a desperate desire for recognition. She represents the pitfalls of ambition and the moral compromises some make in pursuit of success. Athena, on the other hand, is a talented writer on the verge of literary stardom before her untimely death. Her character, though deceased, is central to the narrative, representing the authentic voice that June seeks to exploit. The novel kicks off with Athena's sudden death and June's shocking decision to steal her manuscript. This pivotal event sets the stage for June's transformation into Juniper Song, her foray into the world of literary acclaim, and the ensuing chaos that unfolds. As June navigates her fabricated identity, she encounters a cast of characters who contribute to her moral descent and force her to confront the consequences of her actions. The narrative is structured around June's journey, from her initial act of plagiarism to her attempts to justify her actions and the eventual unraveling of her carefully constructed facade. The story unfolds through multiple perspectives, giving readers glimpses into the minds of those affected by June's deception, including her editor, her agent, and readers who connect with the cultural experiences depicted in Athena's stolen novel. Kuang masterfully uses the backdrop of the New York literary scene to explore the themes of ambition, authenticity, and the allure of success. The novel captures the intoxicating mix of creativity and competition that permeates this world. June's journey through this environment reveals the seductive nature of fame and the moral compromises some are willing to make to achieve it. The setting also serves as a commentary on the publishing industry's complex relationship with diversity and representation doesn't shy away from exposing the industry's hypocrisy, the eagerness to celebrate diverse voices while simultaneously perpetuating systems that often silence those voices. The novel's portrayal of this hypocrisy adds another layer of complexity to June's moral descent, forcing readers to confront uncomfortable truths about the world of publishing. The bustling backdrop of New York City, with its diverse population and vibrant literary scene, provides a fitting stage for June's charade to play out. The city becomes more than just a setting, it transforms into a microcosm of the larger cultural landscape, reflecting the complexities of identity, race, and representation in contemporary society. The characters in are vividly drawn, each playing a crucial role in driving the narrative forward. June Hayward, the novel's protagonist, is a complex character driven by a potent mix of insecurity, ambition, and a desperate desire for validation. Her journey, though morally questionable, offers a compelling study of the human psyche and the lengths to which one might go to achieve their dreams. Athena Liu, though deceased from the start, is a powerful presence throughout the novel. Her voice, captured in her stolen manuscript, serves as a stark reminder of the authenticity that June lacks. Athena's character represents the silenced voices in the literary world, those whose stories are often overlooked or exploited for the gain of others. The supporting characters, including June's editor, her agent, and fellow writers, further illuminate the complexities of the publishing industry and the various ways in which individuals navigate its ethical dilemmas. 
Each character, whether driven by ambition, idealism, or a desire to do the right thing, contributes to the novel's nuanced exploration of race, identity, and the power of storytelling. One of the most striking aspects of is its exploration of cultural appropriation and the significance of authentic representation. Kuang doesn't shy away from tackling these complex issues head-on, forcing readers to confront their own biases and assumptions. The novel raises important questions about who has the right to tell certain stories and the potential consequences of cultural insensitivity. It's not about you, it's about power, Athena tells June in a flashback scene, highlighting the heart of the issue. Athena's words serve as a stark reminder that cultural appropriation is not simply about borrowing elements from another culture, but about the power dynamics at play. When someone from a dominant culture profits from the stories and experiences of a marginalized group, it perpetuates existing inequalities and silences authentic voices. Through June's appropriation of Athena's work, reveals the insidious ways in which cultural appropriation can manifest. June, blinded by her own ambition, fails to grasp the significance of Athena's stories, reducing them to mere plot devices for her own gain. This disregard for cultural authenticity exposes the harmful nature of appropriation and its potential to perpetuate harmful stereotypes. As June delves deeper into her fabricated identity, she finds herself caught in a web of lies and deceit. The guilt and paranoia begin to consume her, leading to a series of reckless decisions that threaten to unravel her carefully constructed facade. Kuang masterfully portrays June's descent into moral ambiguity, highlighting the psychological toll of her actions. One of the most compelling aspects of June's character is her capacity for self-deception. She justifies her actions by convincing herself that she is honoring Athena's memory, even as she profits from her friend's stolen work. This internal conflict between guilt and self-preservation drives much of the narrative's tension, keeping readers on the edge of their seats as they witness June's downward spiral. Through June's experiences explores the complexities of morality and the gray areas that exist even within seemingly black and white situations. The novel challenges readers to confront their own biases and consider how they might react when faced with similar ethical dilemmas. As June basks in the success of her stolen novel, she becomes the target of both praise and suspicion. The online world with its relentless scrutiny and instant judgments becomes both a source of validation and a breeding ground for doubt. Kuang skillfully captures the double-edged sword of social media, showcasing its power to elevate and destroy in equal measure. The public's fascination with June's supposed cultural background forces her to confront the complexities of identity in the digital age. She finds herself caught in a performative spiral, constantly needing to prove her authenticity to a skeptical audience. This constant pressure takes a toll on June's mental state, pushing her further down a path of deceit and self-destruction. Doesn't shy away from depicting the toxic nature of online discourse, particularly when it comes to issues of race and representation. The novel captures the speed at which accusations can spread, often without regard for nuance or evidence. June's experiences serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of online mob mentality and the lasting impact of virtual judgments. As June's lies begin to unravel she is forced to confront the consequences of her actions. The fallout from her deception is far-reaching, impacting not only her own life but also the lives of those closest to her. Kuang doesn't offer any easy answers or redemptive arcs, leaving readers to grapple with the messy aftermath of June's choices. The novel's climax is both suspenseful and thought-provoking, forcing readers to confront the complexities of forgiveness and accountability. June's journey ultimately serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of ambition, the importance of taking responsibility for one's actions, and the lasting impact of our choices on ourselves and others. You can't just take someone's story and expect there to be no consequences, a fellow writer tells June, highlighting the central message of the novel. Emphasizes the importance of respecting other cultures, amplifying marginalized voices, and acknowledging the power dynamics that shape our world. More than just a thriller is a thought-provoking commentary on the state of the publishing industry, the complexities of cultural appropriation, and the ever-evolving landscape of identity in the digital age. Kuang's sharp prose and unflinching examination of these issues make for a compelling and often uncomfortable read that lingers long after the final page. The novel's strength lies in its ability to spark conversations about difficult topics, challenges readers to confront their own biases, consider the ethical implications of their actions, and engage in meaningful dialogue about representation, cultural sensitivity, and the power of storytelling.
It's a book that stays with you long after you've finished reading, prompting reflection, and perhaps even a bit of soul-searching. In a world grappling with issues of cultural appropriation and the fight for authentic representation, serves as a timely and necessary read. It's a novel that pushes boundaries, challenges conventions, and ultimately leaves readers with more questions than answers, which in itself is a testament to its power. I highly recommend to anyone interested in exploring the complexities of race, identity, and the ethics of storytelling in the modern world. It's a particularly relevant read for those involved in the creative industries, prompting reflection on the responsibilities that come with artistic expression. If you're looking for a book that will challenge your perspectives, spark debate, and stay with you long after you've turned the final page, then is a must read. It's a timely, thought-provoking, and ultimately unforgettable exploration of the human condition in all its messy glory. Dive into the world of, and join the conversation. What are your thoughts on cultural appropriation in literature? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries, comments, and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.